The first official Tesla Model 3 display vehicles arrived at two of Tesla's retail locations in Los Angeles and Palo Alto. The two vehicles are now attracting crowds reminiscent of a new Apple product launch day. Since Friday, Tesla's Stanford Mall in Palo Alto and its Century City Mall in Los Angeles became the company's first two retail locations to have a Model 3 on display. The automaker plans to gradually add Model 3 display cars to its locations around the U.S. as it ramps up production and continues the rollout of its latest electric vehicle, but for now it's the only two locations where Model 3 reservation holders or the general public can go see the Model 3 and sit in it. Before opening time today and there were already a few dozen people waiting for the doors to open. The demand to see the vehicle is so high right now that Tesla has to limit people to two minutes with the vehicle. Reddit user Crowdry says he had to wait an hour and a half to get to the Model 3 display car. As for the Stanford Mall store in Palo Alto, it was pretty much the same situation. Last night, there were quite a few people, but it was manageable though there were enough people to make Tesla staff stay late to give everyone the opportunity to see the Model 3. But things got crazier today and the store was mobbed by people wanting to see the Model 3. We are not exactly talking about the level of impressive lines of people during the first day of Model 3 reservations in March 2016, but it's still significant crowds, especially for a car. Tesla's Semi, the automaker's new all-electric semi-truck, keeps accumulating more reservations from freight companies and fleet operators. Now a large UAE-based environmental and waste management company announced that it placed another important order for Tesla's semi-trucks. At the World Future Energy Summit in Abu Dhabi today, Bach confirmed that it pre-ordered 50 Tesla's semi-trucks, one of the biggest pre-orders to date. Salim al Away, chairman of BA, commented on the announcement, We are extremely pleased to turn towards Tesla for a solution that enhances our leadership of sustainable practices in the region. As a company that strives to be the best in our field, we only work with partners that we consider to be the best in theirs. Through this latest investment, we hope to demonstrate to others the value and importance of seeking out better more viable ways of achieving our business aims, all for the greater good of our communities. The company says that electric trucks will add to its fleet of 1,000 trucks and they will primarily be used for waste collection and transportation, including transportation of materials for recovery. Kailt al Haramal, group CEO of BA, also commented on the announcement. As a torchbearer for environmental responsibility, Baz moved to bring the first and largest fleet of Tesla semi-trucks to the region as a significant milestone in our operational evolution. Sustainability is at the very core of what we do, and the pursuit of this feeds into every level of our organization. That is why we have made this investment in our transportation fleet, which occurs with a view towards a larger goal, achieving the objectives of the National Agenda for UAE Vision 2021. Baz's order follows Tesla's record orders of 100 electric trucks from PepsiCo and 125 electric trucks from UPS. At the unveiling event last month, Tesla unveiled two electric truck options with 300 and 500 miles of range. After Tesla revealed the pricing of its electric semi-trucks last month, we learned that the regular production versions for the 300-mile and 500-mile range versions will be $150,000 and $180,000 respectively, while the company is also listing a Founders Series version for $200,000. This means that Baz's order alone is worth between $7.5 million and $10 million. The company also announced that they have purchased Tesla power packs for their headquarters in Sharjah earlier this year. Earlier this year, the organization made a major investment with Tesla to fit the company's world-leading power pack battery technology Baz Spectacular, state-of-the-art net zero energy headquarter complex, which is currently under construction. 
the Tesla batteries will store solar energy to power the building, and any excess electricity generated will be fed directly into Charge's main power supply grid, thereby ensuring maximum efficiency. Image and video is an image of their new headquarters. Baz Tesla's semi-reservation follows Tesla officially launching in the United Arab Emirates earlier this year. The automaker has since expanded in the Middle East and it signed a deal to supply 200 Model S X vehicles with fully self-driving capability to Dubai's taxi company. Uber also announced the deployment of 50 new Tesla vehicles in its Dubai fleet. It's January which means automakers from around the world are unveiling their newest models at the North American International Auto Show NAIAS, in Detroit. However, once again, Tesla is not in attendance, instead opting to make headlines in California with the first public viewings of the Model 3. According to Forbes, the unveiling was a smash hit as long lines awaited those who wanted to get their first glimpse at Tesla's newest model, which features a full autopilot system. The car was on display at Stanford Shopping Center in Palo Alto and Westfield Century City Mall in Los Angeles. It was unclear if the Model 3 will be on display at the Somerset Collection showroom in Troy, as messages seeking comment on a possible Michigan display were not immediately returned. Tesla has not attended the Detroit Auto Show in a few years, because of state legislation passed in October 2014 banning the company having retail operations in Michigan. As a result, the company has elected to avoid the annual auto show which features the majority major car companies from around the world. Before the 2018 NAIAS opens to the public from January 20 to January 28 at the Kobo Center in downtown Detroit, automakers show off new models and make world debuts in scheduled press conferences. Press preview days are scheduled for January 14 to January 16 which is when to check in with Love for any breaking news or coverage of fresh reveals. When it comes to electric vehicles, range is a factor of utmost importance as it illustrates how far they could traverse before running out of battery. Boosting an electric vehicle's range could also mean boosting its market sales. Just last week, the new Nissan Leaf was reported to give a range of 225 miles, beating the Tesla Model 3 by 5 miles and putting it to the number 5 spot of the list electric cars with longest ranges. Nevertheless, range is just one of the many factors to consider in choosing the better electric car. Below is how the 2019 Nissan Leaf compares to Tesla Model 3. 1. Brand Recognition in the automotive industry, Tesla is a brand that is comparable to Apple of the computer, smartphone industry. With its sophisticated design and product quality, Tesla is tagged as the hottest corporate brand. Its strong brand recognition made approximately half a million people to reserve their own Tesla Model 3 units prior their delivery. However, Tesla is not a common place for most of the automotive industry's current and potential customers. Some common people would not even know what Tesla is selling or have never heard of it. This is where Nissan beats Tesla in terms of brand recognition. It has been in the industry for quite a long time. In short, Tesla is the current hype, but Nissan has been the long-time trusted brand known by commoners around the globe. And people tend to keep going back to traditional automotive companies rather than trying a startup. Two. Network of charging stations. Tesla Model 3 could be a better choice when it comes to public charging convenience, thanks to its fast, well-integrated, reliable, and well-designed network of super-fast charging stations. According to GAS2 Works research, this factor is a serious requirement for many electric vehicle users in their next purchase. But there are also a lot of users who do not consider public charging as a necessity at all. 
Although it may not be at par with Tesla's network of charging stations, Nissan's fairly developed Chaidmo network of fast chargers could suffice the support needed in the regional electric car driving. 3. Other Specifications and Price Comparing the two electric cars, Nissan Leaf has a bit lower specifications than the Tesla Model 3. For instance, it would take Nissan Leaf about 6.5 seconds to reach 100 km per hour speed, which is about 1 second slower than Tesla Model 3. Also, Nissan Leaf's charging speed is slower than Tesla Model 3 100 plus kWh versus 120 plus kWh. However, Nissan Leaf offers a much affordable price than Tesla.